Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the text and the headlines on the squeeze page. And now we will have to do it in HTML, but I will make sure that it's very simple and I will show you how to quickly and easily do that even if you don't know HTML. Um, so first just open the HTML file in any editor you want and um, then you will see a lot of code. If you use HTML editor, it will color, make some of the elements colorized, you know, some blue, and it's a bit easier to understand the code. But basically to make it simple, all you have to do is just select some part of the, of the headline. For example, uh, select this, copy, then go to the editor, go to the edit, find, and just paste it and click find next. It will find in the code because the code is pretty long, it will find where's the headline. And all you have to do really is to just change the text right here. Alright? And here. So for example, we can change it to uh, So something like that, and you can also change this to uh, absolutely no charge. What the Z means basically it's an underscore. So if you want, you can you can see this one is underscored. So if you want to be underscored, you can leave it. If you don't want, you just remove it. Okay, that's pretty much it. So we just save it, and you can see you can see it's changed. We can change the free also. We can also change this text, so it's the same thing. Uh, it's already here, so I know where it is. Just go to the div class head and make sure you don't uh, change any of these things because these are, these are important for formatting. So just don't change them. You can change all of this text. Now what the B means is uh, it may basically it's, it's bolding, so it bolds the text between B and the end of the B. Uh, so if you want to have a bolded text, you can have it or not. It seems on Safari, the bolding doesn't work for this font, but it works for other web browsers. So you can change it again. Um, put your best email below. To receive your your free video how to grow to tomatoes super fast and you just refresh and that's it if you want to break it for example it doesn't look that good it will be good if we break this new line to the new line so in order to break it to the new line all you have to do is just uh, press BR code with these uh, signs and then we we'll pull, pull it off to the new line. We can also change the put your best email here field. We can put any, anything we want so let's see right here so you can see it's input te type text name email and value put your best email here. It can be for example put your regular email here. You can see it's changed. We can also change the get instant access text for example to get your free video now. Alright, we can also change your privacy is 100% secured to uh, we don't spam ever. Okay, we can also change the, the footer text if you go down, you can see the diff class footer, and these are the links to the privacy policy, terms of use, and contact. Now, you have to create these pages, or if you already created, you can just link them. So, if you have them, you can just put your your domain privacy policy.html. We can also remove it if you don't want, or change. You can also add new links by just copying this and pasting. 
You can also change the copyright to your, your domain right here, or just add anything you want. All right, so you can change it freely. So as you can see, I grab basically it means anything um, between these quotes, it's a link. So anything right here between A and NODA, it will be a link. All right, so that's how it works in HTML. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. Maybe one last thing. If you want to add uh, the name field right here, uh, it's a very simple thing. All you have to do is just copy this the, uh, this input text, paste it one more time, uh, change name to name, and change the value to put your name here. Just save it and it's done. Uh, so it's that simple to change it. I just added one more piece of code right here, just style equals quote margin dash bottom colon zero pixels end of quote. And what it will do, it will remove the break, the space that was before. It, now it looks much better. Uh, so we have name and email right here. Okay, so one last thing, if you also want to change the background, it's a very simple thing to do. Uh, if you go go right at the top, maybe more right here, you'll find the body style. You can see it's, it's uh, right here. And you can see here it's a background URL, img dash uh, slash, that's the fill name find them for the background image. You can basically change it, uh, just put the image in this folder and just uh, put the file name for the new image to change the background. So here you are, just uh, pasted the new background 11, so just copy, the, let's copy the the fill name, file name, and make sure to upload that in the img folder. So it will be in the same directory as before. So just copy the file name, go back and just paste paste the new one right here. Click save, refresh, and you can see it's a new uh, it's a new background. So you can see it's very simple uh, to change these things, and um, it just it takes a couple of minutes, and you can customize uh, the squeeze page however you want. And again, you can. Uh, these things apply to all the other squeeze pages. You know, it's a very similar thing. So thank you so much for watching.